I used random noise and some math to go from this to this. Stick around to see the full process of how randomly generated terrain is made in Unity. Alright, so I got a new Unity project open and I'm just going to start working on the procedural terrain. So yeah. Alright, so it's a little while later and I've gotten terrain to sort of generate. As you can see here, I've made this object that uses Perlin noise to generate random ups and downs in the terrain. So yeah, the basics are pretty much already done. Now I just need to add a bunch of other stuff. So what I'm going to work on next is actually adding a texture to this and then I can work on scaling it up and whatnot. Alright, so a little while later and I've majorly upgraded the terrain. So firstly, I've added this water here, which is definitely a placeholder, it's not going to look like this in the end. And I've also added a little bit more variety to the terrain and I've also made this nice shader. I've also made a shader in Unity Shader Graph to just uh, make the terrain look different depending on where it is. So cliffs have rock, uh, flat ground or relatively flat ground has grass and beaches have can't really see it but they do have sand but yeah it's uh, coming along pretty well if you ask me so now I'm just gonna work on making it look a lot nicer like making the water look nicer making the terrain have more variety etc so yeah all right so it's a few days later now and I've adjusted the terrain generator so that it generates islands I did this because I just think it looks pretty cool I've also added in seed functionality so every time you run the project the world has a random seed here are some islands generated with random seeds Alright, next I'm going to work on a water shader so that the water looks a little nicer, since right now I think it looks pretty ugly. Alright, so I'm done with the water shader now, and I've spent the last few hours working on it. I'm really happy with how it looks, because it's got waves, foam, reflection, and I think it looks really nice. Next thing I'm going to work on is a character controller, so the player can explore these randomly generated islands. Alright, so I've added in a way for you to walk around the island now, which is pretty cool. So, as you can see, we drop down and you can walk around, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to add in some trees and rocks next, because the landscape's kind of boring. There really isn't much on the actual land, it's basically just grass and, you know, some rocks for the cliffs. But uh, other than that, yeah, it's pretty boring. So I'm going to add in some trees, which I think will really make the landscape look a lot nicer. Here's a time-lapse of me making the models for the terrain, because I thought it would be cool to time-lapse the modeling process. Alright, sometime later and I've added a few trees and rocks around the map, which is pretty cool. As you can see, they kind of just randomly generate and they always spawn above water, which is good, but other than that, they're pretty much just completely random. Got a few trees, climb up here and get a better look around. Uh, you know, just adds a bit more interesting stuff to the landscape, because before it was kind of boring. Uh, now, I mean, it's still pretty boring, but like, you know, at least there's stuff. It's not just totally a, a complete desolate wasteland. Honestly, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for this video. I'm pretty happy with the progress that I made in about a week, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool that you can just generate these random islands with uh, trees and rocks on them. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with my progress. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Uh, until next time, see ya.